2020's here. At the start of it, bring the NFL playoffs this weekend starting tomorrow. I'm going to do a quick breakdown as I'm driving. Um, starting with the Texans and the Bills, I could be a little bit biased on this game, but I'm going to give my honest opinion. Uh, I follow a lot of football. I mean, a ton and a ton of football. Uh, anyways, um, it's pretty much pretty cut and dry. It's strength versus weakness on both sides. Bills clearly have the better defense. They have the better secondary. They have a shutdown corner. Uh, they got a eh, they got a good pass rush. It's nothing special. I don't think they really they haven't been tested is the thing. They really haven't. Their their schedule's been pretty pretty cupcake like, from top to bottom. I mean, who have they really who have they beat? Who have they played? They I mean they play in the NFC East. Sorry, the AFC East. I mean they lost both games to the Patriots. You know the first game Josh Allen did get injured. I think late second quarter, early third quarter, whatever the case was, but. I mean, who they beat up on the Jets, the Dolphins. Um, they went into Pittsburgh against a third-string quarterback. Yeah, they looked impressive. They, they did go on the road and beat Dallas. I guess that's probably their most impressive win. It's nothing to, to be like, oh, wow. But, I mean, look at the Texans' schedule. They played – they went on the road in Arrowhead, beat Kansas City. They beat the Chargers on the road. They almost shocked the world against the Saints on the road week one opening opening night Sunday night Monday night football whatever it was um, they destroyed the Bella cheats at home I mean absolutely just destroyed them uh, I mean top to bottom they 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 took care of the Colts they won the division they beat Tennessee on the road there's a lot of in-betweens in this game though Will Fuller's probably not gonna play I seriously doubt he plays JJ's trying to return there's a lot of question on how many snaps he'll play I mean, if it'll hurt him in the run game, I mean, I don't know if he'll be able to get out on the, but probably bring him in on third down and, and second and long and scenarios like that is my educated guess. But at the end of the day, the Texans still without Will Fuller have more weapons. I'm, I'm Bill O'Brien is definitely a, a big question mark. If he if he lets if he lets them play and he calls a good game and he doesn't you know get all super conservative like he's known to do. It's their game to win. It's that simple. It's the Texans game to lose. Plain and simple. It should be a good game. It's going to be a close game. The Bills play a ton of t close games. They control the line of scrimmage. They basically run milk clock, rely on their defense. They don't ask Josh Allen to do a ton. The guy's super mobile, super athletic. They got some weapons. They got Speedy Brown, John Brown. Uh, Cole Beasley's a problem in the slot. Singletary's a problem. They, they don't have a lot of size as far as their weapons go, but man, they they got a lot of talent. They got a lot of speed, quickness. They're explosive in the open field. Singletary's dangerous. But if the, if the Texans get Duke Johnson involved, which I'm hoping they will, especially Will Fuller being out, and they can fill, f figure out a way to get Kenny Stills involved, Hopkins is going to be Hopkins, but at the end of the day, he's going to have a shutdown corner on him, and he's going to draw a lot of attention going to come down to probably crunch time um i think with the home field advantage that's an edge for the texans and should be enough to get the get the job done i'm, I'm guessing 23 26 for the texans and 17 to 20 for uh the bills